Hello, Internet. It's Friday, and I got some extra time this week, so we're gonna play a little bit more, uh, Dave, because I want to beat this game eventually. Um, oh, should prop... He's lifting weights. Anyway, should probably buy another one of these, um, net traps. But what is this? Doll decoy. It distracts enemies and disappears after a while. We can afford this. Yeah, let's buy one. Okay. So we'll try to catch a tuna, and then... We'll just go deep and try to catch a bunch of big fish. Diving, yes. Yes. Doing chores for fish people is delayed. We need to catch those tuna. Also, what is this? I've not seen this type of fish before. Flame angelfish. Alright, next time we got them. I, I'm, I'm sure. Just gotta place it right here. Okay, there's a second one. Now, will my drone take just one set, or will it take both? No, it just takes one. Catch more of these, uh, flame angelfish. Just because I haven't seen them before. Can I? Can I actually? Hit the tuna with my harpoon. How am I doing? I'm not sure how I'm doing, but what I'm doing is not a whole lot. Yeah, that didn't work. Really haven't done anything today. Cat food. I was happy to m see this morning that the, uh... Chank or check your engine light on my car just went off by itself. So, you know, one less thing to worry about. Scooter. Emperor Angelfish. I mean, these guys probably aren't going to be very good sushi. I should do what I said I was going to do and just keep going deeper. Because video game logic says that if I go deeper, the fish I catch will be worth more money. Uh, another shock harpoon. Not sure I like this one too much. We'll pick it up anyway. It seems we've spawned into some sort of, like, kelp forest biome. Not sure what that noise was, but it's probably nothing good. Aw. Cardinal fish. Oh, there's something. 
Why did that stingray attack me? Okay, that could have been really bad. I guess I'll pick up this dead stingray. a gun? It's a gun enhancement kit. That's cool. Also, I guess we learned just how much an oxygen refill can refill. Who knows, maybe Tiger Prawn Sushi will sell well. We need brown seashells, not blue. Maybe pink. Okay, pink. We also need those. Your food, right? Move my hands. Narrow barreled Spanish mackerel. I don't think these frogfish will sell for much. They're kind of small. Again, maybe from a gameplay perspective, it would make sense to make the smaller fish worth a little more because they're harder to find, a little harder to aim at. We're about halfway full up on our, uh, ooh, Barracuda. Your food, you're expensive. I think they're expensive. Wouldn't you pay extra for barracuda meat? I need a different harpoon. I need to stop picking up the shock harpoon because I hate that minigame. Mm, we're almost overburdened, but we're not quite overburdened yet. Seahorse Sushi.
Oh, I'm out of bullets. Uh, that ain't great. Just had to tap it in a little bit. Okay, now we can't carry anything else. So... We may as well just go home. We'll go deal with the, uh... Am I grinding for conch shells? Is that a thing in this game? Because I wasn't planning to, but... That was mostly a go down and get some fish that I think I could sell for a lot. So that our next dive of the day, we can go talk to the fish people and see what chores they want us to do. Wait, did this manage to get three of them? Okay, that's plenty. We got plenty of tuna meat. Oh, wait, no. See, it took the tuna and it divided them up into uh, red meat middle meat and uh fatty meat oh you mean in splatoon yeah actually i should do that since um the conch shells now count why is my mic peeking up that quickly anyway yeah the conch shells count for more now so i should probably do that hang on let me just lower this there we go that should be fine my mic should stop peeking out quite so hard now or were you noticing any sound issues? Like, was I... Was my mic peaking? Were you not able to hear me talking? Hmm. Let's go check the fish farm. Unable to obtain row or breed fish, so we need to let a few go. Well, we can let go to the cardinal fish. Because they're not going to get as much. Yeah, they're just kind of trash. Send a couple of these to the kitchen. Fish use ingredients will be taken to bunch of sushi removed. Yes. Yeah. Send a couple of these to the kitchen. really make yellow tang sushi, so let's just sell these. I don't know if the fish goes bad. We can probably send this guy to Boncho. We're still overburdened, okay. So we're going to send a couple of these to the kitchen. Have we upgraded these red-toothed trigger fishes? We'll probably sell them all. Okay, now how are we looking? 77% slightly better. So... We have a recipe that uses white trevally. May as well send it to the kitchen, though. Giant trevally. Some money.
I don't think we have recipes for striped mullet, so let's just... Make a bunch of money. Okay, how are we looking now? 50%, we're good. Oh yeah, we also have to go night fishing, right? To get, uh... What are they called? Um, what are they called? Manta rays? I think we need to go night fishing to collect manta rays. But enough about that. Let's go talk to the sea people. Not exactly the effect I expected. Near the beginning, Ruben couldn't hear me, or Bob couldn't hear me a second, but we're good now. Alright, what does Mimo want? Well, well, are you the human I've been hearing rumors about? Ah ha ho, you don't look as scary as I expected. My name is Mima. I run a restaurant in the village. I'm Dave. I'll be helping out at the village for a while. Ha ha ho. Receiving help from a human. I never considered it a possibility before. Let's see. It's not like I can ask you to cook. Do you guys cook down here? Okay, eyes peeled. We're gonna try to find anything that's on fire underwater. My goodness, I forgot. A Wang and Nawang ordered lunch boxes. Oh, the gatekeepers that were whispering earlier. Yes, would you perhaps take the lunch boxes I left in front of the door? They should still be on duty at the gate. Please help me out, human. Fine. Yep, the food at Mima Mez is so good. It's really different from the food at home. Where do you get your ingredients? I've been coughing a lot lately. Hot soup is just right for this. How do you eat soup underwater? He's using a spoon! He's eating soup with a spoon underwater! Oh, thank you. Humans ask such strange things. Cough. Okay, okay, game. You got me. Oops, wrong button. Whoa, my first time seeing a human. Weird. What do you do with that mouth? You can't even breathe underwater. Hey guys. All that timing. Yeah, the game knew what I was gonna say. Played me like a fiddle. Um, human, what is it? Uh, I was asked to bring you these lunch boxes. Hmm, those are from Mima. You didn't add poison on the way, way here or anything. Yeah. You can read it. What? Why would I? Well, alright. Give it here. Good work, I suppose. I'm just gonna turn her back on you while we eat our underwater delicacies. What's this do? Well, look at this sign. Does it mean I can ride a beluga here? It looks like my oxygen's not going down, so that's nice. Oh, you delivered them, didn't you? Haha, ha, humans aren't half bad. 
I'll tell you if I need something done again. I guess Bay is their currency. What kind of house is this? Seed shop. He looks a lot like that fish farmer on the surface. Huh? Are you that human? Human, not hum, ma'am. Har har, you look interesting. You don't even have fins. He reminds me of someone. What is this shop you're running? I sell various seeds here, as well as flowers to offer to King Long. King Long? My goodness, don't tell me you don't know who King Long is. He's the great king who saved this village from disaster. It's very difficult to hold a conversation with you, you know that. Go and offer a flower to King Long first. The tribute flowers are on the platform outside. Take one. I guess that explanation point is telling me where I can find King Long's statue. Why is there a stream? I mean, I know that water has different densities and you know, you can have pools and stuff underwater, but it just looks strange. Like, we got waterfalls underwater. How? Maybe they're brine. Which would mean they're extremely toxic for fish. Underwater waterfall. Yeah. Like, the, the beach episodes in Spongebob aren't quite as nonsensical as you might think, but... This is a bit much. Whatever, magic. It's magic. I'm gonna stop asking questions. Oh, so this statue is of King Long. It's the same person as the painting from the record chamber. I guess I could put a flower on the platform in front of the statue. Is it someone's job, like, you know, how at a graveyard, it's someone's job to clean up all the flower offerings people leave? Does someone, like, come out here every afternoon and pick up these flowers so that people have to put more flowers tomorrow? <laughs> Whatever, I've done what he asked, so I should go back and talk to him. Or we can go see what Swam's up to. That's not Swam. Oh no, I can't tell the small, low-resolution fish people apart. Hey, don't pop out of nowhere like that. See my gills pumping? Oh, they're gonna automate this and just have a request for it at some point. Oh my, I've never seen a human before. You have legs, just like a crab. Superior locomotive implement, legs. We can swim and we can walk. Let's go bother these children. Or not. The children know better than to talk to me. Go, Dave, go. I kind of want to know where that portal goes. Hydration break as I go across the whole map holding one button, or two buttons actually. I did a little, I did peek a little, and it seems you did okay. Even so, I can't just trust a human who doesn't even know what King Long has done. Go and do a bit of reading or something. I can't read your language, buddy. Sorry. I don't want to spend another 10 years learning a language 
and only be the basic conversational proficiency at it. Looks like it's glowing right here. What's that about? What if I just swim straight up? What's up here? Oh, I bet the portals put me into different layers of the city. That would make sense. Also, there's that tree they were talking about that's starting to freeze. Bonk. Okay. So, that's kind of cool. It's got these... Top of the Divine Tree. Yeah, the Divine Tree kind of explains why it's so light down here. You know, at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Alright, we've got one more exclamation point to deal with on this layer. And then we could probably use those portals to go check out the next layer. It's a good thing I can just sprint for free down here. Hey, dude. You're okay. pretty big. How... how did you get here? I swam. Oh, they have all kinds of stuff for me to do here. He's selling crab bobbles. Hey, well look at you, human. I'm sure you had a lot of trouble coming all the way down here. Nothing like a few games to get your adrenaline going when you're tired, eh? Play a game with me, heh <laughs> heh. In this game, you try to find the hermit crab that hid the pearl. Guess which of the fast-moving hermit crabs hid the pearl. So this one's got it. This one. Yay! Bro, there's a streamer named Juice streaming this game. Oh, well, you mean other than me? That's interesting. Okay, I played your game, buddy. I don't need to play anymore. Arg, not again, darn it. Why are you so angry? Junak, that pile of whale poop must have tricked me. My beluga whistle. I lost my precious whistle to him. Beluga whistle? Yes, the whistle that summons Beluga anywhere in the village. I knew I shouldn't have bet that whistle in the game. That heartless swindler tricked me. Human, can you bring it back for me? Uh, me? Yes, I have nothing left to bet in the card game. I am broke. Uh, I'm not good at cards. I will play a couple of games for fun. Okay. Let's play cards. Haha, uh -huh. the one that foul-tongued lady gave to me. There's like a a button on here to like stream together. We should get him and no, I don't want to figure that out right now. Besides, what if he's mean? She lost five straight, or five times straight, and went all in. She bet the whistle in her last game. She looked like she needed it. Could you give it back to her? <laughs> not for free. Play cards with me and win. Then I will give it back to the woman. Quite an annoying dude. Well, if you say so. If I win, you give the whistle back to her. Sure, sure. Let's play the game. You need to bet some money. Okay, we're playing... Uh... The Japanese name translates a mental breakdown. I can't remember what this is called. Memory? Is that what it's called? Flip cards. 
pair the matching ones. Whoever finds the most matching pairs wins. Okay. One. Oh, it's his turn first. So he's got a crab. And a stunfish. Which means I go second, which means I get an advantage, don't I? Do do do. Sea star. Ribbon fish. Oh no. Um, scallop and anglerfish. All right, there's a freebie. Jellyfish. Seahorse. Oh no, I can't remember exactly where the seahorse is. So I'm gonna flip this one. Ugh! I'm so dumb. Well, now he's got two free. Okay, so this and this match. We're only halfway, he can still win this. He just saw where the scallop was, dude! So did I, didn't I? Man, I wish I could remember where that starfish was. Jellyfish, and this was jellyfish, right? Yeah. Man, I am looking so dumb right now. Ray, and wasn't this the Ray? No. The language, I don't understand, but he's the top streamer in this section. So he finally won one. That's not good. Scallop. Oh, I'm so dumb. I should know where the other scallop is. Scallops right there. Ribbon fish is here. Okay, dude, I just flipped it. You got this. I think he can tie me if I screw this up. Now he can't tie me. I'm gonna win. Oh, I can't believe it. Let me see what this juice, guys. This other juice. What language he's speaking? There he is. Oh, yeah, it's... Well, it's Shrillic, so it's... Either Russian, Ukrainian... But I won't understand it. Yeah, I don't think we'd be able to stream together. I mean, there's a chance he can speak English, but let's not push it. I cannot believe it. I was beaten by a human? This hurts my pride. Well, a promise is a promise. Take this. It's the beluga whistle. It's cute. Give it to the lady over there. Oh, I am impressed, human. Haha, -ha, this is it. The beluga whistle. Well done. Hmm, but... But what? You need Bay to summon and ride the beluga. I went bankrupt playing games with that dude. Hey, you can have this whistle. What? I don't even know how to use it. Haha, <laughs> it's easy. You just blow the whistle anywhere in the village to call the beluga. Though you will need to pay some bay to ride the beluga. Well, I'm sure with your skills, you can easily make money from the casino, no doubt. Um, I should summon the beluga when I have to cover a large distance.
or I can just swim because my oxygen didn't get used up here. And I got time, all the time in the world. Press B for Beluga. Oh, we got this courtesan looking lady. Yeah. Lichen. I mean, Lin Chen. Hey, you're the human that's been wandering around our village, right? The, what fancy decorations? What is this place? Hey, we see people work hard every single day. Press X to doubt. This is a place of pleasure for the hard-working villagers. So I can't come in, right? Hey, it's all right. Species is no barrier to enjoyment, is it? Let's not examine that statement too much. No. Oh, right, you're helping out the village. Isn't that right? <laughs> yes, I guess that's how it is for now. No. I've been needing some help with something. No. This establishment operates seahorse races, which are extremely popular. Mm. The recent earthquake destroyed the general quarters, and all the seahorses have run off. You're gonna make me hunt down how many seahorses, lady? Yeah. They should still be in the village. Would you go catch them for me? <sighs> Come to think of it, Maki gave me a bug net. I don't think I could catch seahorses with it. We've already caught seahorses with it. We just haven't turned them into sushi yet. Hey, you look, um, trustworthy. This is troublesome. All the seahorses escaped. Yes, our very trustworthy looking fellow named Yami. We can't hold races. It's tough putting food on the table. Why is this guy so mad? I haven't won any money since humans came here. This can't be a coincidence. Is that a child? How can hermit crabs be so fast? Illegal seahorse fighting. That could be fun. Alright, and the game's not gonna just like be nice to me and put where the seahorses are on the map. Grr. They won't put them in somewhere that's too hard to find, right? Stick to places that look like... How's this work? Like, the... The manatee is inside the cart. He's not hooked up to the cart. He's not in his little... Like, it's swinging all around! We've got the cart in front of the manatee. Such a strange culture down here. Y'all seen any seahorses? How about you? I've lived 200 years, and this is the first time I've seen a human. What are you doing here? Tenzin said you could stay here, right? Well, don't wander around too much. Have y'all kids seen a seahorse? This is- oh, there's one! That was easy. I'm sure the rest of them will be just as uh, obvious in their location. Surely they wouldn't make this a long, boring, tedious time sink. See, we already got two. Hedgehog seahorse.
if I were a seahorse, I would not be at the top of the sacred tree. But if I were a game designer who didn't respect my player's time, I would hide a seahorse at the top of the sacred tree. There's a little smudge on my monitor, and I have no idea how it got there. I don't see any seahorses. Let's go check some other layers. Let's go check if my uh, assumption about the portals holds true. What's in there? They look kind of like clams. Portal was somewhere around here. Yeah, okay. Now, if I was an actual seahorse, I would be, like, in these grasses. Because that's what their whole, like, body plan is built for, is hanging out in grass like this. But let's assume that they're going to keep the seahorses kind of on the beaten path. Okay, are you Swam? There we go. Hey now, don't go poking around in the village too much. You might trip on seaweed with those silly legs of yours. I heard that this was the door previously used to go to the glacial region. But this passage has been blocked for a while. Nobody knows what state it's been in during that time. So that's the DLC, right? That wasn't a joke. I'm pretty sure they have Arctic DLC coming out. Even though we pray, earthquakes keep coming. Is faith really enough to solve this problem? Don't say such things. The reason we're all still okay is thanks to King Long. ice of the divine tree is melting little by little. There are more and more getting sick. King Long Shrine. Oh, nobody's here. Guess I'll have to come back later. So it's a pretty great pose, but King Long in. Here, seahorses. Where are ya? Yeah, let's check the last layer. I assume there's only three layers. No, that takes me back out here. So where does this take me? Ah, okay, so there's two layers. Hello, Reuben. He doesn't have that much time. This may not be the best use of your time, since, uh... We're just wandering around trying to find missing seahorses. And there's the third one. Dear me, the tremors are getting worse. Human, hurry up and help the villagers to gain their trust. Okay. I guess we gotta check out the inside of some of their houses. Since I kinda doubt that they put the dwarf seahorse, you know, at the top of the world or whatever.
Luckily, we can sprint all we want down here because we don't use oxygen. How that works, I don't know. Hmm. Don't see a seahorse here. You seen a seahorse, Mima? Oh my, human. I'm running into you so often. I think I might have another request for you soon. Come visit again, all right? Eh heh heh. Okay, so they aren't in uh, the restaurant. Maybe they're in the seed shop. There you go. Okay, we've collected the seahorses. And now we hold D and shift until we get to the opposite side of the map. How were your days? I didn't do much of anything today. I was pretty happy this morning when I saw that the check engine light in my car had turned off by itself without actually checking the engine. This looks like a forge blacksmith. Hmm, mm, human. All right. World-class writing. All right, go into the uh, casino to return their racing seahorses. Well, well, you brought back all the seahorses. They were quite difficult to find. Heh, <laughs> now we can resume our seahorse races. I'll give you a uh, seahorses, thanks for your help. You know I'm gonna eat that seahorse, don't you, lady? Wow, where can I get one? Go speak to Yami, who you can find in front of the race course. Hope to see you around in the games parlor, human. Oh my, you're the human. I'm Yami. I'm in charge of this seahorse race course. Heh <laughs> heh. Say that five times fast. I'm not gonna. Ah. I heard you caught all the seahorses that ran off. Thank you so much for that. I heard from Lin Chen already. I'll give you a nice strong seahorse as a gift for your efforts. Jayakar's seahorse. Is that its proper name or is that its species? I don't know. New content! Seahorse racing. Wow, I've seen many seahorses like this elsewhere as well. Can they also race here? Of course, bring them to me and I'll register them for the races. Since you're here, why don't you try registering your new seahorse? Oh, someone pinged me on Discord. Not sure what he's getting at though. I'll figure it out later. Select the register menu. Okay. Hey, this is where you can register seahorses you've caught for the races. Why don't you try it out now? Good. Next, select the race menu to get ready to race. Just close it. Okay. This is where you can select the course and begin a race. Since you're new to this, I suggest selecting C course for starters. There is a game store in the city I just found out about. New games, old games, video games, board games, what kind of games? Okay, this is where you see the participants and check who you're up against, heh <laughs> heh. Now then, shall we select a seahorse for the race? Okay. This is where you can select one of the seahorses you've registered. It's a video games store. Alright.
Oh, the seahorse's stamina is really important. Always make sure to check the arrow on the right. Once seahorses race, they'll need to rest to recover their stamina. You should have several seahorses ready for the race. Let's go with this one for now. Looks like you're all set. Let's get started. Okay. Maybe I can get a hand held conceal for games. Our schools and phones are banned. It's funny how video games follow this like upside down bell curve of price where the price goes down a couple years after they come out. But then like 10 years later, sometimes it jumps right back up and sometimes it keeps going higher than they were originally. Like if it were around 1999, you could probably get a Game Boy for five bucks. But nowadays an original Game Boy, God knows how much you pay for that. Of course, you'd probably want a Game Boy Pocket or a Game Boy Advance since they fit in your pocket better. Ooh, or a Game Boy Advance, um, Micro, I think is what it's called. They are very tiny. If your gauge goes past the green, you'll slow down, so be careful. There are different grades and types of races. Hurdle and combined races offer greater prizes. Nope, oh, race time. So basically this is a game of me just tapping up the space button. We came in dead last, didn't we? Oh dear, I must not have provided an adequate explanation. Don't worry, everyone starts off like this. Ruben just needs a small computer with Tetris. Then, yeah, uh... What were they called? There was this smaller Game Boy that came out between the Game Boy Brick Edition and the Game Boy Color. That had, like, a black and white screen instead of the green and yellow screen. And had better battery life, and it was pretty small. That would be great if you could get an old copy of Tetris for it. It might be cheaper, though, to get a Game Boy Advance and a copy of Tetris for that, because I'm pretty sure the collector's market probably hasn't bumped up the price of Game Boy Advance Tetris quite as much as it bumped up the price of Game Boy Tetris. On the other hand, Game Boy Tetris was, like, one of the most popular games ever, so there's probably so many copies out there that they can't bump up the price too much. I don't know. Do some Googling. Look into it. Not that it really matters, because your game store is going to charge what they want to charge for it. Rank outs. We lose. Okay, I don't want to play your racing game. I want to, I want to go. I didn't talk to this guy. You want to listen? Would you like a little live music? His voice line sounded like actual words, like, you want to listen? Can y'all hear the music? Hey, <laughs> hey, I hope you enjoyed it. Ruben would be okay with a functional knockoff. You might be able to find some weird Russian thing. I don't know if... Oh, what was it called? It's like... Handy Computer or something. That was a rip-off of the Super... The, the NES. That was popular in uh, Russia through the 90s. It's been a while since so I looked into that. Anyway, this guy's voice sounds way different from everyone else's.
Okay, let's go find some more people to do favors for. Um, map. It's not showing anyone with, like, an exclamation point over their head. Maybe that work board will have some jobs on it now? Or maybe I have to win the race. Ruben will need to study this weekend, so we'll probably go on Sunday. Oh, to the game store? Okay, nothing to say to me yet. Let's check the bulletin board. No requests. Maybe the king will have something to say? Tenzin? Ahem. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a bit of help from you. You'll need the trust of the villagers as well. They've heard a lot of bad things about humans and stayed out of contact for a long time. Ripper forgot his phone at school and the next time he is there is Wednesday. That's... That's kind of rough. I'm gonna check this temple, and if there's no one here, then I'm just gonna assume I need to win the seahorse races. Okay, we gotta win the seahorse race. His stamina is lowered. Do I not have any other seahorses? Like, do I need to leave the village and go catch one? Come on, little guy. Let's aim for third. Well, at least we didn't come in dead last this time. Okay, so now he's tired. I don't have any other seahorses. So maybe I need to go out into the darkness and catch a seahorse? Don't really want to do that. It's scary out there. Are there deep sea seahorses in this game? Like, I assume the deep sea ones would be the strongest and the fastest, but... Hmm, I don't know.
Let's look around, see if we can find anything useful. Anything we can catch. Are y'all dangerous? Net gun. Nope. Come here, little guy. Man, he's resilient. Sea toad. That doesn't sound like good sushi. Surely people will want sushi that glows in the dark. Oh wait, no, we've caught one of these before. Fanfish. This looks like a puffer fish of some sort. Maybe I should have gone with the net gun. Except I will need to use my laptop for Google Maps. Oh, he have logged out of Duolingo on his laptop, so he forgot his phone and a problem. Log in to Duolingo on his laptop. So yeah, not gonna mess up your streak. We don't need to be killing these fish. We need to be finding... Seahorses. I say as I keep killing the fish. You're tiny. Oh, that's a Nautilus. We can't race Nautiluses. A 261-day streak. Yeah, that's pretty long. I don't know what my streak is on uh, doing my Anki cards. I know I've missed a day or two in the last... Whoops. Uh... Almost 15 years. We're gonna shoot this shark. Cookie cutter shark, right? I might as well get some fish to make sushi with tonight. Not sure if comb jellies are good food or not. I haven't really played with that too much. Ah, he got me.
Still haven't found any seahorses, though, down here. R switches. Can't race brittle stars. Could use that, but not oh, there's a seahorse. There, we got a seahorse. Now we can go back to trying to race seahorses and winning our seahorse race, and hopefully that makes it so the game keeps going. Or maybe the seed guy can tell us something. Maybe that'll make things go. Cause things to happen. There are more and more earthquakes lately. Your faith should be even stronger during times like these. Okay, that's not helping. I guess I could also just go home. <laughs> or maybe I need to try the other gambling thing? No. We're gonna do okay at a seahorse race first. Pretty sure that's necessary. Are these two playing rock, paper, scissors? Well, they don't want me to butt in either way. He didn't have anything useful to say before, right? Register. Crown seahorse. Change seahorses. Yes. Crown seahorse. He should be a bit faster. Time to mash the space bar. Would I make a seahorse bait? I can just let him. Just coast along. Just just finish it. No, 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 no. Gotta go a little faster. A little faster. There, we won. Fine. You happy now? Game? Can I just move on? New race is unlocked. I don't... wanna. Oh, you're back, human. Ready for some exciting seahorse racing. <laughs> so we still need to find someone here. Ribbon or Electron just heard the overused fake cheering sound and he was suddenly irritated. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Electron. Um uh... Hey. Well look at you, human. I'm sure you had a lot of trouble coming all the way down here. Nothing like a few games to get your adrenaline going when you're tired, eh? Play a game with me. We probably need to find one more person to help. 
and not sure how we're gonna do that. Let's talk to a beluga. Maybe if we explore some of the corners of the map we haven't looked at. Oh, Ruben's gotta go now. I'll see you later. You know I had to do it. Mash his little squishy head against a wall. Cranium damage. He's got the he's got his melon. It's full of fat. He's like it's like a helmet. Kind of. Bonk. I can talk to people while I'm on the beluga. Whoa, my first time seeing a human. Weird. That's a cool animation of it turning around when it doesn't have space. It's starting to get a little repetitive. Just a little. They probably didn't intend you to do this, to just search the entire city. On the other hand, we've, you know, we finished the seahorse race and won. So now there should be someone at the King Long Temple. And there's still no one here. We've already talked to them. Looked around down here. That's a wall. He's got nothing new to say. Nothing new going on in here. I've talked to all the villagers. I don't know what else I can do to gain their trust. You know who I haven't talked to, actually? Ah Wong and Nu Wong, or whatever their names are. I'm trying to pronounce their names as nicely as possible here. Y'all got any favors you need from me? 
Human, be grateful you're allowed to stay here at all. Um, Human, don't act all friendly. <sighs> Alright, so I'm out of ideas. Apart from catch even more seahorses and win even more races. Which I guess I could do. Especially now that we have an idea of where to go to find a seahorse. Now, what's my oxygen going to look like when I come back out here? Refilled. Let's not worry about the physics of all that. How they put more oxygen in my, uh, you know, compressed gas cylinder that I use to breathe down here. Too bad we can't catch the ping pong ball tree sponge. No, wrong. Wait, yeah, we selected the right thing. Oh no! Never mind, it blew up on a wall. That's another Nautilus. I don't know that we've made Nautilus sushi yet, it's all. High quality cat food from the deepest depths of the ocean. Got a spider crab. Got a big skull. Let's see what kind of gun we can get down here. Gun enhancement kit. Boom. Gun enhanced. But we still haven't found a seahorse. A second seahorse, anyway. They're kind of tiny and hard to spot, you know? I'm gonna bump this thing right, right from the edge of my range. Uh, cool, we parried it with a knife. Here, seahorses. Oh, there's one. Spotted seahorse. Okay, now we're overburdened. So let's head back to the Sea People House. Win another race, the seahorse races. See if that gets us anywhere. As nonsensical as that is. Like, why would it count as helping the sea people to win races against them? Who knows? Rubber chicken.
because plastic is forever. And long after we're all dead and extinct, people are going to be finding our plastic chickens at the very deepest parts of the ocean. We're overburdened right now, but I still need to bop some fish. Pickaxe. Nope. Can I bop a you? Nope. I am far too slow now. Well, let's go register another seahorse. So he doesn't end up being eaten at Boncho's. Huh, it didn't charge me this time. That's weird. Maybe the blue go just like, you really look like you need a help getting across the map. Register, spotted seahorse. He's not great. But right now he has the most stamina. Jayakar is just terrible. <laughs> Yeah, actually, no, he's pretty good. So, we will do a combined, where we have to slide and jump and mash the spacebar. So, what are our buttons for sliding and stuff? Oh, he has easily won this race. Didn't even need my help. Sorry I ran you through the uh, obstacles, buddy. Okay, so who's in... This guy's still... Like, his stamina is still pretty good. F1, information. Speed without acceleration, maximum speed with acceleration. Effect speeding penalty, gauge fills when accelerating. Obstacle control becomes easier.
I guess we'll just keep going with this one. This is a regular race, right? Maybe I was wrong to pick him. I mean, we got seconds. Alright, I'm just gonna assume we can't get any more help with the sea people today. So we're just gonna go home and serve some sushi. To the boats. Best time underwater, an actual hour. And I guess scraping along the bottom to catch that frogfish, we went our slightly deepest. Sea toad. Oh, the Nautiluses, we got 11 Nautilus meat. <laughs> All right, let's go serve some sushi. Or hire that ninja. Oh, hey, fish farmer guy. You got any unreasonable requests for me? Or no, he just wants to get drunk. What? Sea people? It's hard to believe that something I've only heard of in legend is real. If there's a good beer in that area, I wouldn't mind trying some. I don't think there will be drinks underwater. I didn't think there'd be soup underwater, Dave. We both looked dumb. In front of all the people watching the stream, all like one of them at that time. VIP appeared. Michael Bang, the master. <laughs> Looks like this is the only place to eat. This is what I don't like about remote areas. Ready? This decrepit place can't possibly make sushi that will inspire me. I'll just have to fill my belly with what I can get. <laughs> hmm, what a rude customer. What do you want? <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the movie director, Michael Bang. <laughs> what? Didn't you direct Robot Samurai? Open July 16th. That's perfect. This is so spot on. Ha! Huh. Looks like your eyes are functional. Yes, I'm the great action film director, Michael Bang. I can't believe he's talking like that about himself. Yes, Vopker. The American hegemony on cultural artifacts means that even you know Michael Bay. One of the most mid-directors ever. I'm filming my new movie, The Stone, around these parts, and I can't seem to get the ending scene right. I think I might find my inspiration with food. That'll clear up my head. It doesn't seem likely I'll find anything here. I'm leaving. Wait! Robot Samurai. Was an amazing movie. I've watched it multiple times, and it was moved every time. All I remember is explosions. If you make another great movie through my food, I'll be willing to cook for you. Oh, so you're a fan. I'm grateful, but can you pull it off? I've got high standards when it comes to sushi. The rice they use in these parts is terrible, by the way. 
That's why we use the best rice we find in this region. Give me three days. I'll prepare food that'll make your head all but explode with inspiration. Well, all right. I'll be back in three days. Don't disappoint me, chef. Okay. Boncho, do you have a plan? Hmm. Cooking is an art form. I know well the pain of an artur. I'll prepare food that will inspire him. However, as he said, the rice I use is the Annam rice of this region. It bothers me that the ingredient has limits when it comes to creating the best possible sushi. Hey, hey, I've been listening in on your conversation. If it's rice, I think I can come up with something. Hmm? You have an idea, Alto? Hey, hey, just give me a day. I'll be in touch in the morning. Hmm, if we can get high quality rice, we can make sushi with three kinds of fish. Titan triggerfish, harlequin hind, and coral trout. I do not know what either of those last two are. That's a lot of ingredients. He appreciates flourish. Please don't be late. So we're making, like, American sushi monstrosity rolls? Alright. But can I still hire that ninja? We need three of each of these? But I've never seen a harlequin hind or a coral trout. We're hiring the terrible ninja. No one can stop me. I'm making this mistake. <laughs> Let's hope she doesn't screw up the food. Uh, research. Steamed Wolfiel, Red Tooth Triggerfish, Seasoned Long Spine Porcupine Fish Skin, Stellet Puffer Fish Puffer Special Sushi, Sea Grapes. That'll be easy. Those sell for a lot. All we need is for people to order it, though. Let's see. Big eyed scad and soybean paste. That's expensive for artists of flames. But it's also expensive what we can sell it for. All right, we got it sort of at price. We're gonna save that for the festival. If I enhance this, it will sell for 30 more. It's taken this long for me to notice there is a skip button. If I really wanted to skip these cutscenes, I could. But I don't want to. Whose house is that over there? Is that the fish farm? Over here? Okay, we're done enhancing that. Put 10 servings of that on the menu. Let's see, that's still tuna. Cookie cutter shark. Does not taste good. If we enhance it, it still won't taste good.
Fanfish. Also doesn't taste good. Seasoned Kaji Mat. That's pretty expensive. Three Toothed Puffer. I mean, we can't really serve these things that taste that bad. A 50s. Mmm. Okay, shark sushi. Here we go. It could be a lot tastier, but we need more servings. Let's see, that's pretty tasty. It's really expensive to enhance, though. How about this? Tiger Shark Sushi. Tastes bad. We can make it taste okay. Uh, Tiger Shrimps. Also doesn't taste very good, but we got a lot of them. We can probably enhance this a good bit. All right, now it's acceptable. What's this? Long-snouted seahorse. It's he's on a stick. It's kind of gross. Uh, Spanish mackerel tastes terrible. Let's sort by. Level. We can upgrade our blue tang sushi. It tastes 51 to enhance it, and it just gets barely any better. Uh, maybe not. Titan Triggerfish. Titan trigger fish. If we enhance it, it sells for slightly more. Yeah, this can be our filler. Have a. Uh... We'll just serve the people a bunch of uh, invasive fish. There, that's plenty of servings. We got enough food. Someone wants tea. That's my job now. I'm the drinks and cleaning up plates, dude. Good. Ah. Good thing they let me spill beer. I'm doing bad. We rapping bad on that. Oh no. I let the wasabi run out. ruined everything by letting the wasabi run out. If I had just not gotten those people beers. Do we make money? We didn't even make that much money today. Uh, 
oh well. It's time for tuna. Hello there, Dave. Have a good night's sleep? Well, I suppose so. You sound tired. Haha, <laughs> well, I stayed up all night working on something. What were you working on? <laughs> I'll show you. Get on the boat and come on over to the fish farm. We have a farm farm now. Whoa, what is this place? Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> I tried some food at the restaurant. The sushi has Anam rice mixed in, right? <laughs> yes, it's the only rice we can manage to find around here. Mm. Boncho has got superb skills, but... You won't meet that picky movie director standards with that kind of grain. <laughs> Since you're staying here a bit longer anyway, I thought I'd might help me I thought you might help me grow some white rice. In two days? Wow, that's very nice, thank you. Hmm, the thing is, I'm not much of a farmer. What should I do first? I've seen how busy you are all day. I'll help you a little with growing the rice. It takes about a year in the real world to grow rice. But this is no rice farming game, is it? What was that game called? Sukuna? It's a very good game about rice farming. Like, it's really good. It also gets very, like, almost physics-based in its rice simulation. It's so good, though. The fighting part of the game's not great, but the growing rice is amazing. Okay, the fighting part's not bad either. It's just kind of standard. I got kind of... I don't know how I got overleveled, but I got overleveled super early in the game and just the whole thing was sort of a cakewalk. But the rice simulation. That's where the game is. That's that's the good part. It would be a terrible streaming game because it's just so much in the rice fields. Hoeing and... Sukina. Sukina... Subtitle, Of Rice and Ruin. Of Rice and Ruin. Let's Google real quick. I played this game how many years ago? Sakuna. Sakuna. Yeah, it's on Steam. It's also on Switch. It's great. Really good game. Really good game. About rice farming. And beating up evil monsters that are animals, but still. Mm. Anyway, the thing is, I've injured my legs. <sighs> You'll have to pluck out the weeds. That'll help insects from... That'll prevent insects from harming the crop. Sakuna says that's not the truth. That sometimes the weeds help to, uh cultivate useful insects. Whatever, of course. If we have good rice, plucking weeds no problem. <laughs> to think there's a rice paddy right behind the restaurant. That's really great. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Wahahaha, <laughs> <laughs> glad to see you like it. Oh, as for the state of the rice paddy, technology has come a long way, and you can use a mobile app to check on it. Everything's on Dave's phone. Yep. The app's called Farm Now. I'll update you on the status every morning through the app. Hmm, that reminds me. I remember when I used to be a novice farmer. Mm. I'd gone to a farming village in Thailand on a very hot day. I was resting in the shade, and a white-haired village chief came over, looked right into my eyes, and told me, Enough! Now, now, cool your temper. As it happens, I see some weeds over there. Go and pluck them. <sighs> you can now visit the farm. The farm is where you grow and harvest various crops needed for cooking. Pull out the weeds. Good. Pluck the weeds like that, and I'll do the watering. I'm pretty sure that even the picky director will be satisfied with rice of this quality. Otto will grow rice for you on the farm. If you don't visit often to remove the weeds, the soil health score may drop, causing pests to appear. Okay, well... We, uh, we rice farmers now.
but I think I've had enough Dave the Diver for right now. A little frustrated with the uh, the state of building up trust with the sea people. Whatever, we'll see what we can do. But I'm gonna stop for now. So uh, y'all have a good weekend. I'll be back on Monday, playing more Dave the Diver. At some point, I really need to start doing like two streams a day, just like this stream and then like a nighttime stream. I don't know why, I just feel like I need to stream more. But I just can't do really, really long individual sessions. Uh, is it okay for him to be drinking this early in the morning? Look at him. Like, that, I, don't, I don't think that's like a cola right there. Whatever, I'm gonna go. Uh, Y'all have a good weekend. I'll be back on Monday. Bye-bye.